Hey, everybody, welcome back to Void, I mean, Stoneopolis. Nick, we're here in the Void Dimension, which I'm a, little, are. I'm a little concerned about this, Nick, because we came here in the last episode, and if you check the quest book, the next quest in the Void quest line is for us to pick up a piece of this concrete. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit unnerved, Isaac, shall I? Well, so, like, it depends on how cautious we want to be, right? Because I could go get a piece of mulch, bring it back, right-click it with a hoe, make some water, and then we could kind of, like, go down a bit, build a little bit of a platform underneath, try and, you know, guarantee ourselves success, because this is a limited supply of concrete. I feel like we should look a little bit ahead on the quest line here, because it looks like it wants us to take the concrete. We only need one to complete the quest. But then we need concrete dust piles, which we get by putting concrete into the strainer underneath the eroding water. We are guaranteed to get the concrete dust pile there. It's not a percentage chance. Then gets us concrete dust when we break the concrete dust pile. And then from there, we can turn that into purifying salt mulch and, uh, salt mulch, and by the looks of it, glass as well. I think we should be uh, should be cautious. I know it's oh, not nature. He wants to do the sensible thing. He <laughs> wants to do the sensible thing. So you're saying that I can't just jump off of this platform and something will catch me, Isaac? Like a I, big, I mean, it might. big we could... Steve hand or something. <laughs> we, we could have the forgiving <laughs> void mod on, man, but I... Uh... I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm cautious, you know? He's being cautious. He's being cautiously pessimistic. Okay, That's me. I see. I'm a cautious it pessimist. Right. But uh, given how quick and easy it is to do this, and then to just take some, you know, planks or something and kind of just build a bit of a, a platform underneath. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are you making out of there? You're making out wood. of a oh, gray wood. Yeah, I got a bit of gray wood. Okay. Here we go. Let me, uh... You okay down there? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Oh. Ooh. I'm fine. Ooh. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna like fully brick this up so that we can just okay. strip it for parts, man. Yeah. Okay. Right? Okay. We we're getting rid of all of this this white concrete. We, we're it's ours. depleting this entire dimension. Yeah. Not even world. Not not region. Not land. This entire dimension of its natural resources. Okay. There you go. We you are can, you can, you can take all the white beings. concrete. Can I take it all yeah, out? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna it, start it. with like this 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 block yeah. here. Let and then just ultimate it, yeah. man. Just take it all. all take right. it all. Are you sure. I kept doing it. There you go. Look at that. I got it. All right. Got 48. Nice. Right. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's leave. Region and dimension depleted. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, right. I'm going to put it in the middle one then. Put, uh, I'll put one it. in. Yeah. So we should we be go. guaranteed to get a concrete dust pile from this. Okay. And so hopefully we can, uh, we can then take that, put this down, break it, and we get some concrete dust. And then from there, it looks like we can smelt concrete dust into glass, which we need for glass bottles, which we need to bottle up the void. We just oh right click Lord. that in the void. Okay, fine. Let me do that over here. We've got more more dust piles. Uh, yeah, I've actually, if you claim the quest, oh, you get quite sure. a few. Yeah, 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 no, okay, okay. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here this seems goes. pretty straightforward, actually. And then we just need more, more mulch. Okay. Okay, Massive game. Bear, mulchy mulch. I got some uh, to make a bottle. purifying salt mulch, so I can use that on a block of mulch again to get to purified water. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna move. I mean, we could keep buying more strainers, Nick, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stick to two strainers for eroding water, given that we already lost some of the eroding water. And okay. then okay. instead, what we'll do is we'll create a separation here for this strainer, and then if I get like another, like my 800th mulch of the day, <laughs> yeah, 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 we can uh, we can maybe make something happen here. You okay. um. When you go to like a, a an establishment, you know, potentially a food based establishment, Nick, and they mm -hmm. have a blank of the day, do you normally get the blank of the day, or do you normally just uh, go for whatever it is that you, you you fancy? Oh, if there's a soup of the day, I'm like, whatever. I don't I don't drink soup in a restaurant. I don't drink soup. Don't drink soup. Um, so then, so then I'm looking. <laughs> you expect it to come in like a, you expect it to come in like a pint glass? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Wait, hold on, then. Soup. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I, uh. I, 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 I. You eat soup, bowl, you don't drink Isaac. soup, man. I pick up the bowl and I, I drink that stuff right up. I as loud it. as you can as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> chew on that. I'm going to I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm going to say eat, the definition of eating requires chewing. I don't think so, man. I think you definitely eat soup. I think you drink soup. I'm going to say you drink soup. 
Team Eat versus Drink. I wish YouTube still did polls because then we could get an answer. <laughs> well, we, I mean, we could do a community poll. That's the thing that people um, that you can do these days. Oh, like, yeah, like a, you can do that. It's, it's separate yeah, to the video, but we could uh, we could is. release one simultaneously with the video and get get people's input. Um, yeah, okay. I want to answer. But the answer. fact that you're given a spoon, you definitely eat it, man. Yeah, but... You uh, can, have you, you ever you, been out? Have you ever been out and been given a straw with your soup? I think I should be. I'm going to Google it. Here we go. How do you think Eat people would react if you were, if you requested a straw when they give you soup? Oh, okay. Right. Here we go. I'm ready. If you're consuming it from a bowl with a spoon, then you're eating it. Yes, correct. If you're consuming it directly into your mouth, then you're drinking it. Yeah. But this is from Quora. I'm going to go to a Quora's, more reliable Quora's source. Quora is notoriously fact-based, Nick. There's no... You can't lie on Quora. <laughs> Just like okay, you can't, I'm on you, the Guardian. You've got to go for a more reliable source, Nick. Can we check out Yahoo Answers? I'm going to go on Reddit. I know that they're really reliable. <laughs> the thing is, is that there's so many like quest articles with question marks that this is clearly like a contested topic. Right. The soup is going cold. Eat slash drink it quickly is one more correct than the other. Yes. Uh, this person on Reddit says eat. Yes, This correct. person on, on Reddit says eating soup sounds weird. Well, like, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if the soup's got, like, chunks in it? Then it's more eating. You're more eating it. But if it's not got chunks in it, I feel like you're... Boom, boom. I think it depends. Like, if it's, like, a super brothy soup and there's no accoutrements, if it's just, you know, water that's flavoured, like, seasoned, right? Like, if you had, like, a like a miso soup, but there was nothing in it, right? It's oh. just, like, miso broth, right? Like, miso yeah, based on water. Then, like, yeah. you're close to a drink, but I you, still would call it a soup. But and I've made that there. in a mug before as well. <laughs> That's true. I, make, yeah, I, I, can I see do that. do that. I make miso soup in a mug. That I would definitely. At that point, you might as well just that. drink like chicken stock, though. Like I don't. Understand. Oh, like, I would do that too, man. <laughs> it's the basis for soup, pretty much, anyway. <laughs> uh, but like anything uh, thicker than that, anything that's like cream based, you're 100 percent eating it. So I would you, even so call it eating if you just like drink the cream out of the tub that it comes in. That's so. Also so you eating. think this is a viscosity based thing? I think. Right? I, I actually think, Nick, I'm going to go out on a bit of a limb. Which could come back to bite me. I'm going to say it's like a calorie density thing. I think oh that my God. <laughs> depending on how dense the calories are, it becomes eating. Right. The, 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 which is what's why, the like, threshold? So the like, thing is, that's the, the thing. That's the thing. So the miso soup makes sense because miso soup is like very low calorie, right? It's basically like drinking water. But then on the flip side, the question is, is drinking a beer eating a beer? Do you eat a beer, right? That's right. the question or, that comes or, up because it's like or liquid a, bread. <laughs> a sugared Coke, right? Well, the sugar cooks are not that high in calories, I don't think. It's like 120 or something. It's not, you know, crazy. Uh, it's mostly the sugar that's bad there. Whereas, like, beers can be real high in, in calories, I think. Yeah, um, you some beers, yeah. That's why I stick to um, Guinness, Isaac, not a sponsor. I, I think it's, um, I think it's a, a, a... Do you eat a milkshake or drink a milkshake? Yeah, that's, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and I'll tell you what. I drink, I've i drank some freaking soupy-ass milkshakes I was going to say, I guess it's a combination of, of calories and viscosity, right? If it's high in calorie and high in viscosity, I think it's a, a food that you eat. But then milkshakes book that trend because you're just, it, it's actual, yeah. then the, the so, viscosity so, is thick. And, uh, go on. Yeah, yeah. I'm sticking to my to my original theory then, where if you chew, you eat. If you don't chew, you drink. I disagree. I'm going to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a multifaceted answer, Nick. <laughs> I'm going to say okay. that if it's... Uh, if it is high in calorie, quote unquote, uh, that's a, a relative metric uh, decided on by me. And yeah, it yeah. is um, viscous <laughs> and it is hot, then it's soup that you eat. Oh, and it's hot, right? So you've introduced temperature into the I think so. I think, well. if you, if, I think if you take like a, a can of tomato soup and, uh, and stick it in a glass and drink it cold, that's, that's a, a liquid. You can drink that. That's fine. But, um, right, but as if soon it as goes in the microwave, up, the entire yeah. thing is changed. Right. Yeah. Okay. Gazpacho, gazpacho is a tomato smoothie. Don't don't come at me. Okay. That's what we're. That's 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 just a right. fact. It's not a soup anymore. Right. It's, it's a tomato smoothie. Tomatoes wow. are a fruit. If you mix it cold, it's a smoothie. Okay. <laughs> right. I see. Okay. Well, YouTuber, YouTube commenters, get get in the comments and 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 rinse us. For the engagement, so that would be great. Ooh. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. My work here is done. Um, Gazpacho. It's just a cold soup, right? Cold tomato soup. Yeah, I um. Gazpacho. Never really. Yeah, I've never really 
interacted with or never really called it gazpacho. Well, it's, Wikipedia says gazpacho um, is a cold soup and drink made of raw oh. blended vegetables that originated in South uh, southern regions. Interesting. Okay. Okay. What's so the... basically, the answer to all of this is uh, it's neither and, and it's also both. Effectively. Yeah. So everyone's correct and incorrect. I don't know if I'd like mm. it, you know. This is, uh, it's, 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 it's like fishes and fish as the plural of fish, Isaac. I think it's fish, but I don't think it's correct. fishes. I would probably say fish too. But it's like if saying you're under sheeps, 10. Right? Yeah, I like saying sheep, Isaac. <laughs> Look at all the sheep. <laughs> My flock of sheep. <laughs> 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 uh, um, yes, plain soup is not a drink, though, check. Confirmed. Right, let me, uh, no, no, no. That's, 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 could, that's a food. That's a, that's a food. Plain item. soup. <laughs> uh, are you are you able to, to to progress down this left hand side with the black i just tablets? need i need some more glass i need one more so annoyingly uh we can get three glass bottles powder, there you go. perfect perfect uh right let me make some more glass there we go there we go what a great uh, way to start the episode man there we go. I know, what is right? what is soup? What what is soup? What is soup? Yeah, I mean, um, we, were, we were talking about the English language being was, inconsistent <laughs> last yeah, episode, right? And um, and I mean, this is just another example of that, right? Exactly. So to answer your question, Isaac, I would not drink slash eat soup of the day. Um, <laughs> but if that's <laughs> where we started this, <laughs> right? Um, but if there was a starters or mains or dessert special on, I always do take a look and. Yeah. Sometimes I do take it, whatever yeah. they've got. Sometimes it is pretty good. It like sounds great. I'm like, oh, that please. For me, it depends where I am. If I'm if I'm at somewhere that I go regularly, I will often take the special, right? Because like mm, you know you can come back to take the, exactly, the non-special right. at any time. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. okay. Thought, yeah, give me the give me the specials. It sound, sounds good, right? I think it. Uh, I think it really right. depends. I am. Um, I tried. I, I'm also not really a soup of the day kind of orderer. Um, right. I never really ordered soup of the day. But the, mm -hmm. uh, the other day, I went to a local uh, local little cafe of mine, like for some uh, for some uh, pre lunch, post breakfast brunch, as the kids call it. Okay. And um, I uh, I had uh, an item in mind that I wanted. They had, they had a specials board, Nick, and uh, there was a sandwich that I wanted. And I was like, oh, I'll take the the sandwich from the specials board. And uh, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, we don't have the the sandwich. And so I'm like, okay. And so I go to to look at the menu again to figure out what I want. Um, and I've taken a picture of the specials board on my way in because I'm a I'm a pro. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, specials, right? of course. Uh, while yeah. I wait, my girlfriend asks for a, a, a drink, and she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have the the drink," you know. And so my girlfriend orders a different drink, and then I'm like, "Okay, can I get the I I I, I do something that I never do, Nick." I said, mm -hmm. "Can I get the soup of the day?" They had a, a potato. Wow, and leek you soup got the soup of the day. Nice. You Nick. got it. She was like, "I'm so sorry, we don't have the no. soup of the day." <laughs> she oh, says we sold no. a surprising number of them yesterday, and we don't have any left. But clearly, so... it was a good soup of the day, man. Flipping that. <laughs> and so I ended up getting the thing that uh, that I've had previously. I ended up getting like I ended up retasting a, a product that I've had oh, before. Oh, like... that's a shame. Yeah, that's it's a uh, shame. You know. I'm so, so sorry. That, that's the, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the, that's a tragedy that happens to me the other day. That is, that's the that's disaster. Tragic, man. That's, that is tragic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> thank you, Nick. Thank you. you I appreciate it. You experienced this. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't think recovered? so. I don't, I don't think I'll recover. You know? I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, uh, this is why I brought it up, Nick, because I'm not ready to, 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 yeah, order, you're to still order the soup of the day again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to order the soup of the day again. <laughs> oh, no. Gosh, this is what happens when you try and do silly things <sighs> like that, Isaac. Yeah. Like ordering soup of the day. Yeah. To be oh, fair, it wasn't dear. a soup of the day. Like someone in chat points out, if it was soup of the day, how did they start yesterday? It's just like a special soup that they had, I guess. Right, so. Yes, right. I see, I see, I see. But they change it somewhat regularly. I don't oh, think I've yeah. ever been to a place where they change the soup of the day every day. I feel like I normally yeah, go and they'll have like a special a soup for like, you know, a week or so. Exactly, exactly. But I guess it depends on where you are. You know, I don't live in mm -hmm. a, a, a large metropolitan area, so it's not really the demand for gallons of soup per week, you know, that per day, yeah. sorry, that they can... Per day. Turn <laughs> yeah, the, I do um, see quite a lot of uh, of that of soup of the days in places I go. So yeah, the resource generator man is going to be useful here. Let's just duplicate void chunks. Oh. You see this on that next to black colored logs here. There's the quest for the resource generator, which we've used this. before. And so, if we can get, we just need eight stripped black logs, which I think you've got, right? Oh no, I've got them. Here we go. You got man. them. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you pick them up like this. Boom. Did you get those? Oh, I got those. And then if we do another chest, classic Minecraft 101. Mm hmm. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then we do this. I think at this point, do we have a voided chunk at all? Um, like one of the deep slate cooked. Oh, we do. It's in here. Look at that. So now, oh, over right. in here, man, you stick the void chunk in, and then Ben, you just make some. Look at this. Yo. So the okay, one at the top then. will stay there, but every 15 seconds, we're just going to get a new oh, void chunk. Okay. Right, 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 right. And so I no like longer that. do we have to deal with the deep slate nonsense to get void chunks. Mm, we just make them. And, crap and doing all that stuff. And use okay. them. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Okay, nice. Ben. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Thank you, ben. I like Thanks. this. I like this. Okay. Uh, could you put, do you have another black sapling, man? I do. I have quite a few black saplings. Yes. <laughs> slap you want me to plant one. <laughs> yes, please. I'm gonna, slap, I'm gonna slapling this down. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna poke shear it with my stick. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna shear the um, the leaves. Uh, yes, so that the quest. leaves. I was gonna ask you to do that. Nice. Then you can make the string and stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, here we go. Uh, that's not the right string. I need this string here. Apparently, that's not how you make that string. Oh, it's this way. Sure, fine. Void string. Boom. What do we need? So we're making a drying table? It appears so, yeah. A couple of those strings and some sticks. Oh, that's pretty straightforward, man. Yeah, that going yeah. Drying table. Boom. Done. All right, so I'll whack that down over here next to the resource generator. And so presumably now that's going to allow us to make dirt of some persuasion. Oh, so we get dirt by putting void dirt into the, um, the purified water strainer. And void dirt is just right. eight black leaves, I see. Right, 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 right. Here we go. Can't, can't unspray. Use the spray can remover on, on void dirt to just make regular dirt. I mean, maybe. That would be, uh, That'd be quite nice. What's the, what are the odds on this? The odds are 100%. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Here we and go. then coarse dirt. Ooh. I don't know why we'd need coarse dirt, but sure, I'll, um, I'll put it in the drying rack, I Because guess. of course we need it. That's the only reason, Boo. Isaac. Hey. <laughs> Boo. Get off the stage. Got brown sampling, man. Here we go. Yeah, gosh, get look rid at of that. This. Yeah, get rid of this. This crap. There Put we this go. down. Go on. We'll stick poke it, it with my stick. Stick it there up. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's not shear it. I always have a, a tendency to want yeah, to shear it. Crook it first, don't you? Crook it, yeah. I'll crook it here. There, there we go. go. Boom. All right. This is good. Okay, okay. Uh, although the next quest does want me to get leaves, so you know what, well, let's do yes. that again. And a shroom. You make mushrooms oh. from this bad boy? You can. Oh, you, you can put strainer them under... it with oh. water. So it's back over at the beginning here. Look at this, by the way. We've got loads of fish in this middle strainer now, thanks to that fishing rod. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice, actually. We do need more, uh, more strainers, actually, though. Now, we're out of... Uh, we're out of uh, the, uh, mesh, the, the meshing, the meshing yeah. bad boys. Right, I see, I see. Oh, okay, I to more. mulch up. I yeah, see. yeah, yeah. It's a tum it's Suck a tum it up and mulch up. It's a tumultuous time for us now. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that. I got one on the first try despite it being a 20% chance. Oh, excellent. How'd the odds work? Could buy eh? a lottery ticket today. All right. Um, um, yeah, what's up, man? This resource generator, can I put mixed stone in So if here? you type resource generator into JI and you press U, It'll show you what it makes. This one just makes void chunks. The tier oh, two okay. resource generator though, if you press U on that and then go over to resource generator, it can make, uh, oh, it can make all the colored stones, things. basalt, dripstone, terracotta, polished stone, calcite. It can make quite a lot of stuff, I guess. Right, okay. Which we'll probably need at some point. But uh, what is it you're trying to duplicate? Oh, I was just wondering if you can uh, duplicate mixed stone. Oh, you I know, see. the white, the white bits, yeah, a bit, bit tedious, yeah, that, that. Although it's not as bad, actually. Um, I've made some log sheets, man, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry those. Oh no, I need to. This is a drying table. I need to make it a soaking table. Of course. Which I think <laughs> we, I think we do it like this. Uh, I was gonna say, do you just submerge oh, it in no, water? I've, I've you totally do. I think. Um, oh no. Thankfully, this is an unlimited water source. Um, I think I think you have to water log it. So I think you have to like put it down and then water it after the fact. You know what I mean? Like I don't think you just right. put it in you water. Put water on it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but I also don't know how we would do that block. because I don't know how we get a bucket right now. Oh, we can't use a glass bottle, can we? Um, so it's made in the soaking table. A soaking table is a waterlogged drying table. A drying table can be waterlogged by shift right clicking a water bottle on it. You got an oh. empty bottle, man. 
Never mind. Okay. Think of the middle there. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Look at that. Ben tells us how to do stuff, and we just don't listen. There we go. There we Ooh. go. There we go. So that's gonna that's gonna soak into soaked paper, and then we can dry it into regular paper, and then we can use that regular paper to um to do other stuff with, I guess. Okay. Nice. To create Good. books. Um, super dry oh, dirt. Okay. I don't. I still don't know what we need cause dirt for. Um, we can. Oh, we can dry it again into sandy soil. Um, or into. Or we can soak it into mud. Okay. Fine. And okay, we need both of those for the next uh, the next chapter of our lives. So right. I might make a few more drying racks. So yes, that, we can dry that would seem sensible. Yeah. More you know, this sandy sandy bits. Sandy do you like sand, stuff. man? You like the beach? I quite like sand. I, I do like the beach. What I don't like, man, is just how much it gets in your shoes. Yeah. It really gets up in your shoes. Even if you take your shoes off. Yeah. Like it's getting all up in there, man. Like I'm. I remember I went on holiday to a sandy area a couple of years ago, and I, had, I took these new trainers with me. And always um, a mistake. <laughs> I was finding sand in those trainers for days and days afterwards. Yeah. In the end, I just put them in a washing machine, and yeah. that sorted it out uh, That's the quite thing. nicely. It's um, it, it, it's the like I don't mind it initially. It's just the the fact that like days, weeks, months, years later, the sand is is everywhere, man. You yeah, know? and when you have wet feet and you're walking on the beach and your feet get all sandy. Then you've got like the little like taps and water fountains to wash your feet. Yeah. But you can never quite wash it quite right because you no. have to like stand on one leg, wash one foot, then try and put that foot somewhere that isn't sandy and everywhere is sandy because that's where people wash the sand of their feet. Yeah. And then you have to do the same with the other foot. Yeah. And then you want to put your shoes back on, but you can't because your feet are still wet. So then you need to take like a pair of sliders or, you know, sandals or something with you. And then you put your feet in them and then they get all kind of kind of soggy and gross and um you just have a bad time overall man so yeah. um no, i can i can relate man how much um how much sand do you think um runs through like airport security per year oh at least uh three megatons <laughs> i reckon yeah Isaac. i think it's a lot of sand maybe four shipped. like how much yeah, do you think it costs four. airlines to ship all of the sand that they ship you know, well, in like extra some of them are asking due people to the to, Yeah, well, some people, some airlines are asking people to freaking use the toilet before they get on the flight to save weight I, these I, days, I, man. Yeah, so. no, I heard that it costs like, you know, it, somewhat silly, I remember. It was a low number, but it might be like eight cents if a platter, if, if a, um, a, a, a passenger gets on a plane with a full bladder, which like, yeah. doesn't sound like a lot, but obviously if it's like every passenger and then like yeah, thousands millions of flights, flights, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah, overall. It's, uh, it's a lot of money. It makes a big know. change, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, Isaac, if, you know, they just start just, <laughs> just, just start banning beaches, to be honest. Beach holidays gone. Yeah. City breaks only. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're going to have... Uh, they're gonna have the, you already go through airport security, right? You go through, like, a scanner to get to the to the, 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 the lounge area in the airport, like the bigger, the open area, right? Mm -hmm. Before you get on the flight, though, they're going to have you go through another scanner and they're going to scan if your bladder's full and if it is, they're going to point you towards the toilet before you can get on yeah, the plane. Yeah, they're going to be like, go, yeah. go, go. <laughs> like, no, I'm sorry, go. <laughs> they come back and they like weigh you before and after to check that you've actually gone. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Okay, we got, we got a concrete again. dust, man. Um, we have five in this lower chest. Oh, I think it's I okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run some more of this white concrete through the uh, through the old yeah uh, look strainer here as well. I'm looking. Yeah, we could do with some if we want to get the sound of money for the voided quest line. Oh yeah, what's that? What we, uh, we need? Oh, paper, right? Paper. Yeah. Uh, we need a couple more mixed stone ingots as well. Uh, I've got seven mixed stone ingots here. Go. Uh, I was I was working on those for the uh, the spray can, right? I've also got yes. some, I've yes, got these bright it. shards, but I assume you've got some as well, right? I do. So I can make this glowstone spray can that completes that. And then I just need to put that within some more mixed stone. Oh, so I need two more, I think, two more mixed stone or whatever nuggets we have. Let's have a look. You heard okay. this. You heard this. Listen to this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrible. What do you need, man? Sorry. Uh, any mixed stone in yeah, uh, nuggets? there you go. Oh, yeah, I got some there's, there's 52 in this left strainer oh, as well. Oh, that is perfect. seven in the right perfect. strainer. Yeah, yeah, go for no, it, man. We're good. We're good. Loads yeah, of it. we got it. we got there's it. There's loads of it. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, also quite glad that we, like, don't share um, <laughs> this well, crafting table. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, or anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In life. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
You are you generally a sharing person, Nick, or I'm, I think I am a bit of a sharer, yeah. <laughs> Apart from when it's 20 nuggets. <laughs> right, right, right. You... It's 20 nuggets, I'm taking it all to myself. <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't eat 20 nuggets in one sitting. It's too many. Oh, there we go. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I find a way, Isaac. My little <laughs> stomach just gets stretched out. <laughs> Although I've not done it in a while, I will mm. say. Um, okay. oh. so, yeah, so there we go. Yeah, First coming. quest complete in the void. Oh, uh, let's fun. go. Like let's that. go. So, uh, sound of money there, which is uh, yeah. always handy. This uh, glowstone spray can beta. Can we can we use that to light up the light up our world? Apparently. Oh. It says I on the, the the quest says uh, can be used on any caveopolis block to make them light up. I turned it into this sprayer. Oh. So I don't have it anymore. Oh, um, I see. But this sprayer is quite good because we can we can use it similar to that resource generator to just put a spray can in, put you know a resource in, and then it just oh sprays goodness. automatically. Nick, I got so given I got pray. given an eccentric mm -hmm. tome. Oh, I see. It's just a book that holds oh. of the books. It's got um, oh. multiple books inside of it. See, oh. this is what I don't get. Somebody in the Twitch chat said um, I ordered a twenty nugget box with my normal double quarter pounder with cheese large meal. And like that, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. That's too many calories. That's a lot. That's a lot. Twenty chicken nuggets is already like nine hundred calories. I, I, that, <laughs> you're only I, supposed I, to I, eat like two thousand in a day. <laughs> I got a box of six the other day. Nuggets. Um, yeah, six the, the nuggets. The thing I hate though, which is it's, it's the same with all products, man. It's like twenty chicken nuggets is like four pound fifty, right? But then it's like, yeah, oh, you can get yeah. nine for four pound thirty, or you can yeah, get six yeah. for four pounds, and it's pound like, what? obviously, no one's gonna buy not twenty. Right? But yeah, like, I, yeah. But I, I refuse, uh, Isaac. I, I always refuse to do it. I, I will only get as many as I need because I don't want to waste. But I had a dodgy one, man. I had a, I had a bit uh, of a disgusting nugget. Yeah, yeah. pretty sad. Yeah. The problem with those nuggets, yeah, it was a bit. Ugh. Mm. I was like, oh, I really, really ruined my, uh, my, my feng shui and my, my, my aura. I am all the way anyway, right? Honest. Yeah, it yeah. Costs. So, you know, what can you do? What, what can, can you do, you I do? guess? What yeah. can you do? No, I do see people ordering the um, the, the 20 nuggets as like a side to their normal meal. And, uh, yeah, and I think that's see, a, little, a little crazy. I, I order nuggets instead of chips. Um, I've been known a, that's to do not, this. That's not equivalent. That's not... <laughs> I, I, I do that, so I'll get something like, on its uh, own. I think a medium fries is like 400 calories. The 20 chicken nuggets is like 900. No, it's no, more no, than no, double, no, man. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I would never order 20. Okay, right, okay, okay. Instead. I was going to say, I was going to say, okay. I would, right. I would order nuggets. I thought you were right? saying you ordered 20 nuggets instead no, of fries, no, 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 no. as if that somehow no, justified no, no, no. it. No, no, no. So, so the box of six that I had the other day right. was in place of fries. I see. Right? Okay, that's that's more acceptable. That's a, you know, a high protein option. Yeah, exactly. But but 20 instead of chips or on top of chips, that's kind of like fair play. Like you must have had a big night out to want to <laughs> want to crave that. <laughs> After I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Act, I'm acting as if I have not. I haven't done that. I've definitely done that. Right. I definitely ordered twenty nuggets and something else. But this was when I was like eighteen, and my body wouldn't like shrivel Quite up back. into just a, a ball of mulch afterwards. Yeah, exactly. So right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd have the same experience if I did that now. I see. Um, um, also, that... yellow wood. I saw that. Yeah, no, we do have yellow wood. Science I'm, uh... next. We need a lot of sand, question mark. It um, looks like it, doesn't it? Sand's a bit of a pain, though, because we've got to take, take dirt, turn it into coarse dirt. Coarse dirt, turn it into uh, sandy soil. Sandy soil, and then put that in the thing to get sand. So it's like, we just need a lot of dirt. What's our what's our top dirt method here? Dirt we're getting from void dirt, and void dirt we're getting from the void leaves. And so we need to get, like, a bunch of void leaves. Oh, uh, okay. More so it's with the black sapling, right? Black saplings, yeah. We've yeah, got get that black, black sapling down. Here. Right, let's do it. So this is a sheer job then. Yes, I've got a sheer though. Oh, let me get my let me get my stick handy as well. There we go. Yeah, nice. I think you've got an axe. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Next one. Let me put this void uh, where in over here. Sure. Get that. Uh, get that cooking while we wait. Cheers. Oh, nice. Go. Good. You're on that, and then boom, boom, and uh, these going in. Like we need to craft them into like a. You need to craft the leaves in like a in a in a ring. Ah, the black leaves in a okay, ring, and okay. then you put them in the pink water. These get strained, right? Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Okay. Just like uh, okay. just like our relations, Nick, they get strained. I see, I see, I yes. see. In a pink, in pink. <laughs> yeah, in okay. a pink. In a pink. Um, so the shears they don't last two seconds. They maybe. don't, do they? Mine just got just got wrecked. Got... Probably from uh, from Timu, man. 
Oh yeah, that's true actually. What, what's their uh, motto? Like live like a billionaire, yeah, shop, shop like, like a billionaire. A billionaire yeah, yeah I actually uh, went on Timu just because I was so curious recently. Yep. And I was like, geez, this is so overwhelming. There's just stuff <laughs> not, everywhere. There's like been. countdowns. It? Yeah. It's weird, I hate the man. Countdowns, it's man. weird. Yeah, there's like, countdowns everywhere. Yeah. It's like, and it's like, this is free. Like they've got loads of products. And they're like, it's free if you get the Timu app. This is free. Right. I click this to get the TV app. It's it, yeah. It's quite um, yeah. It's quite something. No, I already um, don't don't shop at places if they use those techniques. You know, I go to a website and I'll be like, "Ooh, only one left," and I'm like, "There's not one. There's there's not one HDMI cable left at this website. Come on now. I know you've got fifty yeah, thousand of them a, in the bank. There's not one HDMI cable left at HDMIcables.com. <laughs> come yeah, on, yeah. come on, guys. I know your tactic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. HDMI yeah. warehouse. One left. Come yeah. and grab it before it goes. You know. <laughs> Hurry, only, um, only eight seconds left on this uh, on this offer. And then you come back tomorrow, yeah. the same offer's there. They've also only still got one left. It's like, come on, guys. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Right. They, they, the way they get around it legally is they've just got this one room in their HQ, and they'll put one of them in the room as like a shrine. Yeah. And that gives them the legal um I don't think it's a crime to, to, say to, only, to lie only about how left. many you've got left, man. I don't know. In the UK, the UK is weird though, because in the UK there's a few things, right? Where it's like you, um, if you say that a price is discounted, like you know, if you put price and then you strike it off, yeah, like twenty nine ninety nine, and then you strike it off and put nineteen ninety nine, um, you have to have sold it for a certain amount of time at the price that you've said it's been discounted from. See, I've heard this, and like usually right? at a supermarket, you'll see it where it'll say discount. It'll show the price, and then in really small text, it'll say original price offered between like August fourth and August fifth. Yeah, know, yeah. They put it in the back room, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, then, show it. but then, I feel like Amazon does not does not appeal like obliged by these rules. Oh, oh no, because you go on Amazon, um, be like, this vacuum cleaner is down from five nine nine to sixty nine ninety nine, right? It's like four hundred. Yeah, pounds no, off. no, no. Yeah, they never but, sold it at that original price ever. Because. Um, even as like a third party seller, because I've done this like a very long time ago, they've on the interface, if you're selling something, they've got two boxes. One is RRP and the other one is yeah. sale price. And so you can just put whatever you want yeah. in either of them and it will do the, it will appear as a discounted price. That's what I'm saying. People are saying Amazon's a US company, but that, they, they still have to abide by the, the laws of the country they're working yeah, in. Yeah, right? in the UK. That's not how it works. To, but, like, so, but that's my point though. So like, that law doesn't apply there? I think I think this maybe it's just not been cracked down on. Maybe yeah, they're just right. like, yeah, come at us, come at us, bro. <laughs> um, but I feel like this would be another one, right? If it existed, like, uh, well, like only one left. Got a little guess, shrine, like a room that they put one thing in. They're like, only one left in this I room. I guess it, it kind of depends because in Amazon's situation, I think they're arguing that like you're getting it. That, that they're not arguing that they've made it cheaper. They're arguing that it's cheaper than buying it it's, elsewhere. Yeah, which might be, they might have got the RRP from a manufacturer website or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but then at that point, like, surely, I, guess, like, I don't know, how does that work? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I think the law you're talking about is if, like, your local supermarket that sells, like, Sainsbury's on beans, try and put an offer on it that's never been an offer, right? Like, and you can't buy them anywhere else. Yes. I think that's, yes. a, that's not allowed. Exactly. But yeah, exactly. no, I think, I think you can, I think you can legit just lie about how much you've got in stock, man. Yeah, maybe. But you can just say I've only maybe. got one left all the time, and and yeah, and you don't. And you and there's don't. no repercussions, man. Just uh, exactly only one left. Exactly. Just like us right now. This this is the only YouTube Nick and Isaac video in stock. So make sure you click like and subscribe. Yeah, to, there's um... only one out left <laughs> <laughs> until the one, next one. <laughs> only one out left. <laughs> there's only one one video out left. You need to unlist all the others, Isaac. That's what that's what we, that's what I mean. <laughs> Get so rid of said, them what are they going to do stop Amazon from doing business in the UK? It's basically unenforceable by that level. I don't think so. I think they would if they were breaking the rules. Is the thing like they um, would get fined? I yeah. feel that's how you. That's how you. You get like Amazon's big, but I think I don't think the UK government would not. I think they would kick them out um, if they uh, if they were breaking the the rules. I don't think it's like they get caught blind to do what they want just because they're big. Obviously, that's kind of true, but like I don't think it's wholly true. You know. Ooh, okay. 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 I'm just looking at this. I'm making a, an alloy kiln here, man. It looks like we're gonna make some. Yeah. Some yeah, a bit of alloy. You're gonna you're gonna embed it, Isaac. We're gonna create a little um. So you want me to like, spot for a, it? You want me to do a little bit of HTTPS? You know. Yeah, dude. Slash, yeah, slash yeah. embed. Close pointy slash brackets. Slash embed. I yeah, I want an iframe, Isaac. I want iframe. Give me an iframe. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. Mm. I'm gonna carve out a little wall for you to embed this bad boy. Here you go. But yeah, no, Timu sounds like it just takes those all to the extreme, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nick, press press Z, man. Yo. 
Whoa! Ben oh has pre-installed the camera so mod for smooth. us. Thank you. Keybinds. Uh, zoom. Let me change that to, to C real quick. And then what's C being used for? C is being used for save hotbar activator. Get out of here. Don't need oh, that. Right. Okay, go. then. Ben. I've missed the, the smooth it camera. It is such a, it's like so a nice and smooth, isn't it? Yeah, right. Look at that. Jeez. Okay, well, I've got a, a cyan sampling here, man. Look at this thing. It's like a diamond Oh, tree. my goodness me. Yeah, it is. It really is. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Ben. Yeah, because okay. companies do it all the time, right? I'm sure Apple were like, no, we'll leave the EU if you make us change the port. And then they changed the port. And it was like, Apple was like, fine. And they just, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, okay, fine. Like, there's a little bit of a give and take, but I think at the end of the day, you know, the, the companies want the money more than they, you know, care exactly, about the exactly. <laughs> they care about their own ego. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, okay. Gosh, we, this is get? So oh, blue. I did it again. I broke the freaking leaves, not the. Oh, freaking... I see. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, can I'll I just, like, the next. If I just, like, put these down, can I break these and get a sapling with a crook? Is that. Is that oh, plausible? probably. Yeah, 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 probably. I, I, do I have a crook? Oh, no, I, I wrecked mine, I think. I did too much. I was too much of a crook. Yeah, you gotta be crook too much. Um, oh, did that I work? I, I didn't get a single um, <laughs> uh, sampling. That could be bad luck. Oh, okay, it could be chance based, I see. Okay. I'll do one more. Oh, no, yeah, I got hey. a sampling. Nice. Look at that. I also got a uh, cyan apple. Here you go, man. Oh, thanks, man. Nice. Lovely. God, there's so much echo in here. Like, it's uh, crazy. Like, yeah, it's mad, isn't it? So much reverb. Yeah, it's okay, uh, <laughs> very echoey. Got to get some, uh, some sound dampening. Yeah. Acoustical no, we need some. Can we get? Can we get some? Uh, yeah, can we get some sound panels in here, please? Oh, we could try, man. We could try. Let's see if Timu got any. You know, Ben. <laughs> Let me see if Timu so have got sound panels. I'm oh, going to tell you the they price will. of them. They'll have um, wall panel, sound acoustic panel for YouTube video making panel, make your room sound quiet oh, panels for sound acoustic dampening panels for sale. Sound panel dot sound. What will be so, the name of the product? They'll only have two uh, left uh, in stock. Uh, by now, it's discounted negative ninety nine percent off. So, so I typed in timu.com and pressed enter. Immediately, a big pop-up. You browser. got app new user gift. £100 coupon bundle. Ends in 9 minutes 39, 38, 37. Get in app. So I have to press X out of this. I'm going to go on search, and I'm going to type in sound. I'm going to put acoustic panels. Acoustic panels. Oh, yeah. 12 packs black acoustic panels. £10.28. Nice. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Do they ship to the Oh, I can, I can ship to the yeah, game? hexagon ones, Isaac, for £15.58. Wow. Uh, I can get really weird kind of geometric looking ones for £54.98. Nice. Yeah, I'm disappointed that none of them are free. It usually likes to tell me that <laughs> things are free. How does that I'm work? Go I'm sure you have to place page. an order to get the free ones. Like You can't just take them. Like They don't just ship them to you for free, right? I assume it's free, quote unquote, and then they'll give, they'll charge you like twenty quid for delivery, right? Oh, and actually, you're just paying. And that incentivizes the, the, you to buy price. something anyway because the shipping price doesn't change or something. Like you get the free it's, garbage yeah, with something along any those product lines. You buy. Yeah, so. yeah. Free shipping for you. Oh wow! Look at that. There you go. Thanks, thanks, thanks for that. Thanks. Oh, look. nothing's nothing's free on the home page today. Are they worth like um like thirty billion or something now? Like they're very um. Yeah, surprise me. Very yeah. valuable uh, corporation. Checks out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's um it's lucrative selling cheap garbage. On the it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shop like a billionaire if the billionaire only ever bought actual trash. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, yeah. You know what the thing is though, man. I will go to uh my apartment reception area there's timu big timu packages all the time yeah. so it's clearly bloody working yeah <laughs> right yeah that's fair enough man that's yeah fair enough. i always see it and i'm like oh yeah they exist i was like oh yeah timu <laughs> well what crap's in there <laughs> 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 whoever this, whatever this person's bought <laughs> uh, <sighs> i'm almost here man i got i need two more uh two more of these alloy uh, nice these kiln bricks, so I'm almost putting away fun. some of the stuff i have so are you after uh, so, do you need any sand? Yeah, I do need sand. Sandstone. Yes. Yeah, I've I've managed to acquire a bit here. I need two sandstone, ideally, if you've got four sand. Oh well, I'm just the guy. Oh, he is just the guy. Look at that! Boom, boom, boom. Okay, you made a very big hole, Nick, for a very small um 
small products. Oh, is this two by two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just for growing like it. space, never, isn't it? It's never. for growing space. I'm leaving it like this. <laughs> growing space. You'll be big and strong one day, okay? Yeah, when you're it. an adult, you'll fit perfectly into this gap. I promise. Yeah. You, uh, you got any clothes, man, that you're growing into still? You got anything? That <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what baggy <laughs> jeans are for, right? One day I will fit into them perfectly. I just need to eat mu- mu- much mm. more batches of 20 nuggets, Isaac, before I do. <laughs> yeah, the young nugget jeans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, have you got some uh, stone pebbles, man, from that excavating? Uh, I do. I've got 32 stone pebbles. those into pebbles. stone blocks, man, and then, like, wank that stone in this uh, this kiln. Let me do just that. All right. In they go. But to be oh, fair, Amazon's not any good. better these days, man. Amazon's also just full of garbage that people just charge yeah, more for. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I feel like Amazon is. is 90% people buying stuff on Timu. Or, or like AliExpress, oh. more likely, and they're just reselling it for it, prime yeah, numbers. Yeah, it is really funny because you search one thing and it'll be all like 25 plus listings of the exact same item, all with, you know, it's like, you know, with different names, so four, four letter names, right? Yeah. Or two word names. All with wildly different prices yeah, as course. well, but they yeah. are the same, right? Yeah. So some people are just trying to be more premium I mean, by, by guess, raising the price. And I guess yeah. they do offer quote unquote a service. The service is just they offer it on Prime Delivery, right? They've they've done the the, the work of waiting thirty days for Timu to get it to them, and then exactly they're just they're charging you a three hundred percent up upsell. To, yeah, uh, yeah. To get it to you next day. To, to, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And you know what, Isaac? I you best you best bet I pay it. Um, <laughs> I'm saying that I do time. try and avoid those brands. I do have like a little yeah. table lamp, like that sits on my dining table. It's just a battery powered thing. That is one of those, yeah. basically. Um, but I think that's one of the only things because when it comes to like uh, gadgets and stuff, I try not to. Oh, and my water flosser as well. <laughs> that's another one. Because there's like water pick where you pay like yeah, seventy yeah, quid, yeah, yeah. or all, all, all of the other ones that will probably last for the same amount of time that are like thirty. So I think those are the only two things of those elk that I have. My goodness, we're into blood magic I already. Know, man. Jesus, Nick, I'm, I'm impressed that hell? you know what mod this is. Look at that. I know, it's so oh mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only time this is ever going to happen. Don't get used to it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, blood magic just came out of the blue somewhere in the in this pack, and so. That's the thing. Grass seed made inside the blood altar turns dirt blocks into grass blocks. I see when used in the world. So we can make actual grass, man. It says use bone meal on grass blocks to have a chance to spawn different flowers and samplings. Grass can be broken uh, into a seed. So if we take this grass that we have here, we can make our, our living quarters a little bit nicer, man. Oh, a bit of oxygen in here, Isaac. Okay. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, it's a horrible color. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I guess that's what you get when it's in a Stonopolis biome. <laughs> oh. uh, here we go. And so, now, what did this say? So we can bone meal that, I guess. We could probably let it spread first a little bit. But um, blank yeah. slates are just void chunks, I see. I've been taking these void chunks out periodically to keep us, you know, cooking on, uh, on void chunks. Yeah. Uh, how much nice. does this take? Oh, this yes. takes yeah, nice. 100 life points. Look at that. It's nice and nice. Oops, oh, sorry. Can... That's my bad. There you go. Wasting, <laughs> wasting my life points, man. Look at that. Blank slate. Nice. I know. I want you to stab yourself more, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. We got a, oh, I've got a void. Got on me. Look at that. Put that in. Boom. Okay. Do it a second. Okay. Do it a second. Yeah. I think. Let me check the on that again. It doesn't need to be... Yeah, yeah, nice. It takes, there we go. Look at that. Okay, good. Right. Nice. Nice. Wow, there you go. Blood wow. orbs and stuff. Yeah, blood orbs and stuff. Yeah, I think blood magic might play. Oh, I'm intrigued, actually. I don't know how these rooting nodes work, but like, I think I've never played with this. But you'll see on the right of this quest line, we've got a rooting stick, a node router, mm-hmm. and then we've got a master rooting node, input rooting node, and output rooting node. I think we can use these kind of like item pipes. I think they're kind of like item pipe oh. lasers, but from blood magic. Right. That's very interesting. Actually. If I'm not mistaken, I think you like link the the master routing nodes to the input and output nodes, and then oh yeah, look at the click on there's a little quest that says help at the bottom there, and oh, it there shows. Is, yes. Oh wow, look at that freaking picture, man. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Ben, Ben's moving up in the world. <laughs> <laughs> input barrel, and then you got an input routing node. Filter allowed void nuggets quantity all, and then it goes to an output routing node that's next to the blood altar that's going to allow the void nuggets to go in. And then, again, quantity wants it. looks like you can limit the input, which is very important for the blood altar. Then you've got, like, another input routing node that pulls the void copper nuggets, which is what I assume you get when you put void nuggets in. And then there's, like, like an output node there as well. So you can kind of automate with those with those nodes. That wow. is very interesting. So presumably oh. we, we, like, smelt the void chunk here into a void nugget. 
And then once we've got the Void Nugget, we can put it into the Blood Altar, presumably, and that's going to get us a, uh, yeah, I guess it's a, a Void Copper Nugget, and I assume that's going to get us Copper copper Ingots. Like oh my, okay, gosh, it's so, it's so, everything's so different, Isaac. I like the change up in yeah, right? style of uh, crafting and acquiring resources in this pack. It's very good. This is, uh, this okay. takes a while, though, eh? Oh, maybe we need a high tier altar, actually. Let me check that. It requires, yeah, tier two altar. Okay, fine. So we do have I to make see, the uh, the runes first to actually make the yeah. the altar into a into a higher tier altar. That makes total sense. Nice. Okay, that's cool. And then uh, what do we need for a blank rune? It's just um, okay. So a blank rune is just a weak blood orb, which is reusable with the blank slate, which is super easy to get, and then just some stone, eight stone, seven stone. Sorry, that seems very doable actually, especially given that the um, thankfully Ben has made these blank slates so much easier. Normally, it's one piece of stone and a thousand life points to get a blank slate. Ben has made it one void oh, chunk and a hundred life points nice. to make a blank slate. Nice, so nice, getting these nice. so much Very easier easy. than before. Good. Look at that. You got any stone, man? Uh, I do not, unfortunately. Oh, God, no, I've got loads of pebbles. I've got them loads down, of pebbles. Man. Craft them down. Get those pebbles into, into stone. Yeah, 16. Throw them at me, man. Throw them at me. Here you go. Boom. So is it like this? Oh, is that, is that too close? No. No, no, no we got we it. Got we got it. We got it. Okay, I got six. I need a little bit more stone. But the idea here, of course, is that we're just going to move the blood altar up by one. We could probably do with digging out a space for this, I think, because yeah, this is a little sure, bit awkward. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I just need a tiny little bit more stone. Let me shimmy. I have a lot of pickaxes. My pickaxe is oh, yeah, I did just mine a oh, bunch of... Oh, uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Quite I've got spare stone one if you don't have any stone on you. Oh, I've just got, uh, I got you so nice, nice, nice. Yeah, raise that bad boy up. Boom. Boom. There we go. Um, I don't have the stone charm on, right? No, I don't. That's fine. Good. Like I, said, I don't want the stone charm. I want to get the stone. Boom. Yes. Okay. So I think that uh, I just need to... Can I use... Can I use gray stone? Can I use gray stone? Can you just use any damn stone? I can want? just use any stone. Damn. Look at this. Boom, go. boom. There we go. All right. Tier there 2 altar. Go. Complete. And now I can put Easy. some... Oops. I don't have that oh. much life. <laughs> Careful. I'm on, I'm on one. Colored apples. <laughs> one that. Ooh. Okay. Here you go. I've got also a side apple nice. if you need it. You can eat that. Oh. I mean, yeah, I've, got the, I've been cooking this fish, man. I got. To oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cook up that, some more, actually. That's, that's interesting. We're probably going to have to automate the production of life points very soon because otherwise, a thousand. Is it a thousand? Oh, no, it was a hundred. Okay. So the nuggets actually here are not that bad then. Again, these are. Are pretty quick the uh, the slowest part i guess is just smelting the uh, the void chunks into void nuggets which i guess mm. i assume we can probably automate in some way shape or form using uh, some kind of like hopper we've got copper hoppers regular hoppers also we don't have any oh we don't have a wooden hopper it's just gray i see i think i made one of those actually at the start of the pink i did yeah okay so we can do some, some nice. automation i think here and get these uh, these copper ingots coming in interesting okay this is not too bad. I think we can kill ourselves yeah. with the knife. Um, I assume I would just like respawn. Which honestly, man, depending on how quickly we want to kind of yeah, grind the life it, points that'd out. Be the way. Could that might be the way? Might not be a terrible idea. But next time, Nick, we'll come back and we'll look at uh, this routing setup because it looks interesting and it also looks like Ben has tweaked all of the recipes here to make this substantially easier for us to create. Nice. It's all just kind of like sticks nice. and blank slates and wooden hoppers. So I think that we should be able to make this happen. And there's also like a standard item filter at the end there. Interesting. Okay, this is cool, man. This is cool. And yeah. uh, we're also almost at um, at red as well in terms of uh, in terms of colors. Yeah, yeah. and we've indeed. unlocked nice. the uh, the first quest in bronze as well. The bronze category with those void nuggets. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, and I see oh, the yeah. uh, the mixed stone nuggets make tin nuggets in the blood altar as well. So there's a lot of blood oh, altar okay. focus. Right, right. Yeah. It's all connected, Isaac. It's all connected. connected. Classic Ben. Flipping it. Yeah. Anyway, Nick. Unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode of. Stone Opolis.